Hello everybody, this is Dream Gaming Year for round one of Group H. And we have got four matches to go before we conclude round one for the group stage. Wow, this has flown by, hasn't it? So, at first, let's have a look at our fight card. In our first matchup, we're going to see El Gozzi taking our crack at Ooh. Then we will see two heavy hitters in Tyrant King and Shin Dominus going at each other. We will see last year's quarter finalist, Iron Dan, taking a crack at Black Rider. And all that before our main event of this session. It is Cudgel Booth versus Killer Wolf. Just thought I'd give the uh, newcomers a time, some time in the spotlight. Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Um, why don't I have sound? Ah, <laughs> headphones weren't plugged in. Did it understand us? Right, sorry about that. I was just checking my microphone was working. Right, in the red corner, representing El Gozzi, we got a T. We got Terry, of course. The Gozzi's third tournament, and the last two tournaments, they've done pretty well, so I, sh I expect the same this year as well. No pressure. <laughs> but, in the blue corner, representing. Ooh, we got a Spinosaurus. It's the Blitz type Spinosaurus, that is. So you know what that means. Ooh, we'll be going for two crits. Now, we do have a secret dinosaur in this matchup, and it does belong to Gozzi, so there's a nice terrain advantage. And, and well, uh, this matchup here is not good for Gozzi. Right, we'll go for the uh, rock. Oh, that's not a good start. Good start if you. Ooh! I mean, let's be honest, Ooh had a pretty terrible tournament last year. Oh, Jesus! For DL! Oh, oops, I forgot to click rock on 10, damn it. I mean, it doesn't matter, he's gonna kill it anyway. Well, that went well for her, didn't it? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, a bit of coffee this morning. I literally just woke up. I thought, right, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna do tournament videos. Right, coming in for Gossy's second dino, we have got a Super Saratosaurus, and well, I think Gossy will be a little bit shaken after that. Very good start from Ur. Uh. Now, I was going on to say that Ur uh, had a pretty, didn't have a good tournament last year. It didn't happen for him. Although, they did beat Dino Hunter. That was their only win. So, I'm sure Ur uh, will be hoping for a better showing this year. And, well, it's been a really good start so far from them. Fair play. They got those two rock crits. And they're still getting the hits. It's an Alpha Dice. Oh, that's a free. And this is not a good start for Gozzi. Okay, the awake mode is on 4 because this is Super Saratosaurus. Now, Gozzi will get a hit in this match with Super Fairy, so... It's not like Ooh's going to get every hit in this match. It's a tie. But, this is a really sluggish start. And that's another hit on the board for Ur. This Spino is mopping up. Right, that's twice. Oh, wow. Oh, the Dino Stuffer. <laughs> that a crucial Dino Stuffer that could be. <clears throat> right, that's thrice. One more for the Awaken Mode. Can Strathosaurus survive? He can. And Gozzi finally gets his first hit in this match. Attack boost activated in there, a bit of light recovery. I still think Serato is going to be in lethal mode, but this awakened mode will stop the Spino killing it. Oh, here we go. Gossy gets his hit here. And he does. Oh. Sorry. <coughs> oh, I don't know what's wrong with my voice today. Right, coming in for Ooh's second dino, we got a Rhinoceratops. A uh, lethal type, so it's, it's the same one as the one that I'm using. But a very different moveset. How crucial could that have hit been from Gauzy to get that crit, get that attack boost maxed up as well? Gauzy coming back into this contest after a strong start from Ooh. 
Okay, well, Thraxosaurus did, did its best. It did take out the Spino. Right, now for Gozzy's third dino, it is Super Pharazinosaurus. Awaker mode also on the four. Now, with the terrain advantage, Gozzy will get the next hit here, and it will be a crept. So that could be a crucial crept there. Because he's still playing catch up. Right, let's get the uh, terrain advantage over with. Badoosh! Right, that's once. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, and Gozzy getting another hit on the board. Slowly but surely, working his way back into this contest. But, uh, he's still getting hits on the board. Okay, that's Fries. Hmm, if the fairy can kill the Rhinoceratops here, get that Awaker mode on the Armatus that comes in next. Oh, that's another tie. Another tie. And that's a third tie. And wow, Rhinoceratops still ain't going down. Now it is. And that could be important for Gauzy there because he saved the Awaker mode for this Armatus. Right, coming in for Ur's food dino, we've got Armatus, like I said. It's got the uh, Spectral Armor. And well, you have to say, this has been a good fight back from Gauzy in this matchup. Despite going down super, super early to that Blitz Spino. But Gauzy is slowly clawing back into this game. And he still has the Awaken Mode to use. And he gets another hit! Now things get interesting. Elementor Fusion! Oh, that's a tie, but God, you won't mind that. Another tie! Oh, ugh, gets the hit! How crucial of a hit could that be? A recovery, light recovery as well. That could be a massive hit by Ur, and that could be the nail for Gozzy. Oh, it's not! That is a claw blade! And the plot twist thickens! And down goes Armatus, and it's Gozzy's victory! Despite being behind for practically the entire match, LP Gozzi gets off to the winning start. But uh, we'll get a losing bonus point, and well, let's be honest, that's the least they deserve. <laughs> right, on to our next matchup now. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Tyrant King, we have got the Black T Rex. What's interesting about this group is that there's two Black T Rexes in this entire tournament, and both of them are in this group. And Black and uh, Tyrant King have one of them. Right, in the blue corner, for Shin Dominus, we've got Zuniceratops, the purple sheep of the lightning dinosaurs. I, lo I just love it, it's so cute. <laughs> um, look, I, it's a very different team that Shin Dominus has compared to past teams. We'll see how it goes for him. Um, there's no secret dinosaurs, no blitz types, so no terrain advantages or anything. Let's get cracking. I, I will say, Shin, Tyrant King does have the harder hitting team in this matchup. And to be honest, with an Earth Dinosaur in third, I do feel like Tyrant King. I do fancy Tyrant King in this match. And yet, it's the first hit on the board. It's a counter blitz being triggered. Good steady start from Tyrant King. Oh, that's a tie. There goes the tie. There goes the um, counter blitz. And there goes Zumi Ceratops. The little purple sheep stood very little chance against Black T Rex. 
It did do some damage though, to be fair. Right, coming in next for Shindominus. He's always in a bad mood. He's Anti-Ceratops. <laughs> the only... Well, the only uh, normal Anti-Ceratops in this tournament. I think there's like a few Super Anti-Ceratopses. A dinosaur that I actually contemplated putting in my team. But I went with Rhinoceratops instead. That really ticked off the Anti-Ceratops. And so will this. Another hit from the Black T-Rex. Indominus needs to get a hit on the board. He hasn't had one yet. Oh, as a crit. It's a crimson flame. Badoosh. Rock, paper, scissors. This is going to do a lot of damage to the Anticeratops. Oh, look at him. He's like, please, no. <laughs> and this is looking very good for Tyrant King. Shin Dominus just cannot get a hit on the board. Ah, there we go. And it's a crit as well. And I think that's a recovery. A light recovery. And the tie bomb goes up the Cryolophosaurus' butt. This could be a big lightning strike. Oh, he freaking killed it! Good on you, Anki Ceratops. Uh, you were warned, Tyrant King, you were warned. Do not piss off the Anti-Ceratops. Because he is one grumpy bastard. <laughs> right. Coming in next for Tyrant King, we have got the Super Eocarcaria. Awaker mode on three. Not much to say about it. Another heavy hit in this team for Tyrant King. But this Anti-Ceratops is... He's in the red. He's in the red. So Tyrant King gotta watch out. Oh, it's another lightning strike. A tie bomb coming in as well. Shin Dominus finally landing a punch in this match. A shocking punch. A tie bomb. Right, that's once. Oh my god, another lightning strike. Well, they say lightning never strikes fries, but in this matchup, it certainly does. And never tie bomb as well. That could that could make a difference. Tie bomb number two, and that's twice. And now, from leading, Tyrant King is now behind. Okay, there's a tie, and that'll be curtains for Eocarcaria because courtesy of the tie bomb. Now, we won't count Tyrant King out yet because their third dino is Ankylosaurus and it will have type advantage over the Anticeratops and Shindominus' third dino, which is Storacosaurus. So I'd still say Tyrant King is in a, still in a decent position here. This Ankylosaurus is definitely capable of finishing up. But you have to say, at the minute, momentum is with Shindominus. Okay, there it is. Well, the anti ceratops definitely pulled its weight here, but it is finally going down. Boosh! 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 I didn't need to do all that. He probably would have died anyway, but it's for sure. Right then, coming in for Shin Dominus' third dino, we have got Storacosaurus. Now, it does have tight disadvantage against the Ankylosaurus, which could be a problem for Shin Dominus here. But as I said, I think at the minute, I still think Tyrant King has the edge in this matchup. But Shin Dominus definitely shown he can hit hard. High. Now that will definitely favour Shin Dominus here. Another tie. <coughs> Ooh, but Ankylosaurus does get that next hit on the board. Now the Thunder Driver isn't triggered, so type advantage does not apply until that Thunder Driver is triggered. 
I did forget to mention that. And it's another tie, look at that. Even though Ankylosaurus got the solo head, Storacosaurus is wearing him down with the ties. And that's another tie, even though I blundered again and clicked paper, but look at this from Storacosaurus. And he gets the kill shot. Down goes Ankylosaurus. And it is Shin Dominus's victory. An unexpected victory, if i got to be honest, because I really thought Tyrant King was going to win. Now, Tyrant King will get a losing bonus point because Storacosaurus's HP was below half. But that is a really fine performance from Shin Dominus. Right then, on to our third matchup. Right then, in the red corner, representing Iron Dam, we have got the Stegosaurus. I think they used Stegosaurus last year. And it, you know, it served them well to an extent. Got them to a quarter final finish, which is their strongest tournament showings thus far. So I'm sure they'll be looking to build on that. Okie dokie, in the blue corner, representing Black Rider, we have got Nigeraptor. And we are on the Sunset Beach field, which is actually an interesting field, because both of our teams have water types. Iron Dan with Super Spino, Black Rider with Shunasaurus. So both our guys will have terrain advantage. And in a matchup as tight as this, that could be the difference between winning and losing. Ooh, Stegosaurus gets the first shot of the match. Not much damage dealt though. Technique boost coming in clutch there. Increasing the technique, increasing the likelihood of that Earth Barrier being activated. Ooh, but it's Mega Raptor going off a crit. It's a net crusher. This is going to do big damage. Jeez, I did do big damage. Mega Raptor hits really hard. But Stegosaurus does get another tech boost off. Gets another hit on the board. But despite the two hits, it is Black Rider in the early lead. And now, well, there's the Earth Barrier. That'll nullify Mega Raptor's next hit if it gets one. That's a tie. Now, this Steg is tie recovery type, so it, you know, it will gain some health back sometimes if there's a tie. Ooh, Dino Illusion getting triggered here. But an even start so far. That's another tie. Now, ties will definitely suit Iron Dan here. Get past that Dino Illusion without needing to waste a hit. Okay, there's the uh, Earth Barrier gone. Neck Crusher coming in here from Black Rider. Oh! Oh, it, it didn't do the thingy. It usually says less damage suffered than normal. It didn't do it that time. How odd. Ooh, that's a tie. And that would be all she wrote for Stegosaurus. So Black Rider does have a slight lead. Right, coming in next for Iron Dan, we got Kakarodontosaurus. Hmm. It has type advantage over the Mega Raptor, but I don't think that really matters given that the Mega Raptor has Neck Crusher. Now, what's interesting here is that we've seen situations like this before where it's an even start and then the other guy gets loads of hits and then goes 2-0 up. So Iron Dan needs to avoid that. Ideally, they need a tie to get past this Mega Raptor. Oh, there's a hit, but okay, that's not too bad. Probably best case scenario there. Oh, another hit. Oh, is it, is it gonna happen again? A Venom fan coming in here. I, 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 I called it, didn't I? I said it. This, you, this just happens. And then all of a sudden, the other guy just gets loads of hits, and then they're 2 0 up. The Dino Illusion. Dino Illusion's so OP, man. It's, just, it's still there. It just doesn't go away. Oh, it's a neck crusher. That's not good. Oh, the terrain advantage is going to be wasted. Oh, jeez. It killed it. Okay, now I will say, because this final will get terrain advantage, so Iron Down will get the next hit. When the Shunasaurus comes in, the Shunasaurus will still get terrain advantage. You know, even though it's two water types. Right. 
Um, scissors. I mean, it's gonna eat up the Dino Illusion, so it doesn't really matter. But there's a terrain advantage kind of wasted there. And well, I, I warned that said it, didn't I? Right, that's one. Okay, finally the Mega Raptor goes down. But it definitely pulled its weight. Right. That's good news for Iron Dan, though, because he didn't want to activate the Awaken Mode while this Shunosaurus had terrain advantage. So the Shunosaurus will come in, do its terrain advantage. And with the Awaken Mode, I, Iron Dan's not out of this yet. But you would think he needs to get the hit with the Awaken Mode. Right. Ooh, that's a crit block. A tie bomb. That's going to be a big shot from Shunosaurus. Not really. I mean, it's going to be trouble for Iron Dan because the move will be gone. Which means that Shunosaurus will be going for Skizzers. Ah, oh, sorry, you can't go Rock. But you can go Scissors. There's the tie bomb. Ooh, and there's a crept. And it will be awakening time next for the uh, Spino. Now, what could happen here? We could have two ties, which would, unless Ocean Panic activates, kill the Shunosaurus. Okay, there's one. Oh, ooh, Iron Dan does get the next hit. It's kind of wasted, to be honest. But, you know, Shunosaurus goes down, regardless. And Black T-Rex comes in next. And Spino does have the type advantage. But, with Black T-Rex's overwhelming power, the Spino will need to get hits. So I fear one hit from Black T-Rex will end this match. Despite the type disadvantage. Wow, that power. The power of Black T-Rex. Ooh. A Dromeo Rush. A Water Sword. And in fact, if this gets below half, Iron Dan will guarantee at least a losing bonus point. And he does. And all of a sudden... Things not looking good for Black Rider. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, there it is. There's the win for Black Rider. The Spino put up a good fight, but it is Black Rider's victory. Iron Dan's not all doom and gloom though, they will get a losing bonus point, which means that we've had three losing bonus points so far in this session. Wow, that's crazy. Will our ma will the loser of our main event get a losing bonus point? <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? Right then, in the red corner, for Cudgel Booth, we have got a Megalosaurus. Cudgel Booth making his full debut in this tournament. Well, they've been pitting into the heavy hitting group, but hey, let's not let's not diss their team because their team hits hard as well. Right in the blue corner, representing Killer Wolf, we have got a Carnotaurus and this a Super Carno. Now this is very interesting because the awake mode for this Carno is on one, so it's right away, and on this field, this Carno will have terrain advantage. And Cudgel Booth also has a win type in third, Seratosaurus, I believe, which has terrain advantage. Right, terrain advantage first. Right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> now, we've seen pe teams do this before, go for the awakening mode right away, and, you know, it backfired horribly. And sometimes it goes really well, so we'll see how this goes. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, he gets the hit. I think that's going to be lethal. Oh my god, it's not. Wow. 
So after all that, well, with Kano only has a slight lead. But the Megalosaurus has yet to fire a shot. And it won't fire a shot because it will go down. But because of the Awaker mode, the Carnotaurus is on very low health. Right, coming in next for Cudgel Boost, we've got Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Amazingly, the only one in this tournament, which is a big surprise given how popular it is. And the bigger surprise, it doesn't have any fire moves, it has all alpha moves. Now, the uh, rule for alpha dinosaurs is that you must have at least one alpha move in your moveset. <laughs> but this guy's decided to take it to an extreme and have all alpha moves. You know, good on you, Kajobu, good on you. The tie. It's another tie. Ooh, Kano gets another hit on the pole. It's a cheap shot. Very little damage done, though. Cudgel Booth won't be too bothered about that. And that tie will finish off the Kano. And all that, despite Cudgel Booth not having an actual hit in this match. Right, coming in next for Killer Wolf, we've got Ampelosaurus. Another... I wouldn't say hard here, Dino, so I can hit pretty hard on its day. Now, normally it would have type advantage here, but because the Alpha Acro doesn't have any fire moves, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, another hit. Oosh. Oh, that's another tie. And still, Cudgel Booth hasn't had a shot and hasn't had a hit in this match. Well, he's going to get one because Ceratosaurus has terrain advantage. And down goes Alpha Acro. Right, coming in third for Cudgel Booth, we've got Ceratosaurus. And like I said, it's going to have terrain advantage, so it will actually go for a crit. And it's, well, it's going to be his first hit of the match. <laughs> And, you know, I wouldn't say he, he kind of needs it. Crazy, isn't it? It's his first shot of the match, but you'd think he'd be, you know, further behind. But no, he's well in this contest. That's a tie. But he does need to get hits on the board, though. I will say that. Can't just rely on ties, mate. Ooh, Dino Illusion, that'll help. Well, there goes the Dino Illusion, and it did help. As I said, one crit from the Ceratosaurus, I think, might be lethal. Oh, well, we're about to find out. <laughs> That's hit number two. Look, look at the deficit, though. It's a, such a small deficit, even though he's had two, only two hits. And Killer Wolf has had, like, six, seven. It's like crazy, isn't it? But Killer Wolf is extending that lead. Can they secure it? Well, they're not going to secure the bonus point with that triggered. Man, Dino Illusion is so busted. Like, what? how is it? How is it fair? <laughs> it gets triggered multiple times. It doesn't go away if you win or draw, like the other Cataclysm moves. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Right, coming in for Killer Wolf's third dino, we have got a Pachyrhinosaurus. Ooh, now this could be good for Killer, for Killer Wolf, Cudgel Booth here. Because that's, his Serato is heroic type. So that crit's going to hit even harder, and he's got the dino illusion to protect himself. So as I say, Cudgel Booth, not out of this yet. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. But yeah, he's gonna need a hit with a crit here. Nah, I think that's it. Well, you know what? They got him down to Patty Rhinosaurus. It with virtually two hits. 
it's a valiant effort, but yeah. You can't win with just ties. <laughs> and it is Killer Wolf getting the job done in the end. Quite comfortably, if I gotta say. Right then. That will conclude round one of the group stage. So we will have a look at our group. And we shall end this session. Very interesting group H so far. We have all our four winners here on three points. No one got a bonus point win in this group yet. And we have three guys actually getting losing bonus points in this round as well. Iron Dan, Ur, er, Tyrant King. You know, you never know how crucial they could be. And then poor old Cudgel Booth pointless in this group. But there is still plenty of time left. You've got another six rounds to go before the uh, knockout round. So there's plenty of time, plenty of points to play for. Right, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. You know the drill by now. And until next time, ta-ta.